Hello everybody and welcome. Today I'm starting a new project. I'm building a fully silent 0db server. So let's start with the few parts today. I have uh, the processor, the heatsink and the motherboard. Let's begin with the motherboard. I have an Intel S1200 BTS server board and it's, uh, it's small so it will fit well on our build and it should have all the features that I need. It comes with the I.O. plate and that's fantastic, so it's going to look very neat when I install it into the case. So what do we have here? Dual channel memory, four slots. We have power. And then another power here. Is it power? Yeah. Then serial and VGA port, two Ethernet ports, four USB ports. This one doesn't have uh, integrated management. That, that's a shame, but it was cheap. Front panel connectors, USB, internal USB. So for example, if you're booting free NAS, for example, you can install USB stick here and just boot it directly. Pins for the front USB ports. So you just, you know, plug the, the wiring from your chassis here and then root it out. Heat sink for the chipset and six SATA ports. As far as I know, two of them are SATA 3 and four of them are SATA 2. CPU fan, chassis fan. And what do we have here? Some jumper some reader here that I don't really know what it does aha uh -huh, so there is a map here so password reset clear and for steamer update and etc and then PCI 8 X or it's speed I don't know how the people say it these days more two PCI 4 here and legacy PCI. This is a board from, I think, 2009, 2010, or maybe 2012. But it's good, it's a good transition piece of equipment. I was checking the manual and I may have a problem with fan because the instructions state that I should have a fan connected as part of the configuration procedure or the installation procedure and I'm not sure it's going to allow me to boot up without a CPU fan connected but I'm going to try. The CPU is the Xeon E3120L that I removed from my old micro server. It has a TDP of 20 watts and it's going to run great fanless. Another thing I like about this processor is the fact that it doesn't have integrated graphics so it should of course use less power and not occupy system resources um, without a reason. My heatsink of choice is the Alpine 11 Passive it can handle up to 47 watts of TDP and the Xeon has only 20, so I can remain fanless. What do we have here? Um, QR code reader on a sticker, probably for instructions. English manual, Wash washers, screws and dampers. A plastic case for the CPU perhaps. Ah, this should be here actually, it just moved around. And it has already thermal paste pre-applied to it, which is great. Let's see if I can take it out. It's huge and very heavy. So I think it's gonna just fit my chassis. 
according to the box here, the pre-applied um, thermal paste that is here is the MX2 and that's the one I've been using and I haven't had overheating problems in a while so I think it's working it is humongous actually and that's it for today uh, next week my chassis should arrive and then I'm going to get everything built I already own, own an SSD and most of the storage is gonna come from my micro server anyway via NAS and then I'm already in the market for a silent power supply I'm trying to get a used one because the new ones are super expensive but if I don't find a used one I'm gonna go with the new one anyway thanks for watching and see you next time